dramatic re-entrance to the Fire Temple. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I should say welcome back to the Fire Temple, the start of the Fire Temple, and why is it so hard to hit a pot? I have no idea. An interesting thing about this temple is that the music in this temple was actually cha- you sneaky son of a never mind is that the music was actually changed between versions i don't know why but uh, i think it's, i believe it's version one and 1.1 of the game the uh wait can i just like open this door yeah i can <laughs> i was making a mountain out of a molehill again and i can go across here but anyway as i was saying the music listen to this part right here in the original version of the game there was chanting to go along with that, but for whatever whoa! But for whatever, whatever reason, they decided to change the music. I don't know why, but oh, not the tunic and my shield! I must get equipment back. Uh, at least it only takes a couple hits now that I got uh, a stronger sword, and I better get my stuff back. At least my tunic. I see my tunic just appearing there. I think I can live without my shield, but not my tunic, but that was so mean. Uh, there we go. And yeah, I didn't get my shield back, oh whatever. I don't think I need it for this dungeon anyway. Wow! I guess they knew I was going to lose my shield. <laughs> well, I'm not going to equip it anyway. Um, just, just in case I need it later and I don't want it to get taken again. But I will re-equip the Goron tunic, even though it's worth 200 rupees if I have to buy another one. Well, that was an interesting side event thingy there. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a link to the original version of the song in the video description. So, yeah, I, I, defi I definitely like you to uh, check that out for yourself. It's a lot more haunting than the original is, that's for sure. But anyway, what am I supposed to do here anyway? I don't believe I can get fire arrows this early in the game. That, no, that can't be... Uh, oh, what am I thinking here? I can use Din's Fire. That isn't a child-only uh, item here. <laughs> it isn't like the boomerang or Deku sticks, man. Well, I lit those, so let's try lighting these two, I guess. Ooh there we go. That works for me. And now I can progress. But yeah, I, I don't think I can get the fire arrows this early in the game, because I need to refill Lake Hylia and or get the long shot. Hello, Darina. Yes, it is, but how do you recognize me seven years later anyway? It seems like no one else can recognize me. I guess maybe because we're bros. We're Goron brothers. <laughs> oh, this is not sounding good, but at the same time, it's sounding great for a video game plot. Oh boy, this is not good going to go well, but yet it is going to go great for the game. <laughs> I wish you luck on that, even though you'll probably be highly unsuccessful. <laughs> Don't worry, the legendary hammer is within this dungeon. Somewhere. <laughs> I, I remember the fire temple being a really, really annoying temple. A temple that I really hated in Master Quest. In fact, I quit playing Master Quest when I played this long ago because of how annoying it was. So, uh, that's not really giving me much confidence playing this place, I have to say. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. Yeah, you can walk on certain kinds of lava uh, when you have the fire tunic on and you won't take damage for a good amount of time. So, it's, it's not really that much of a worry unless it's that like kind of lava that warps you back to the start. Like there's like superheated lava or something like that. Anyway, there's a crate over there. I guess I can light that torch with Din's fire, but I don't see the purpose. I mean, it, that's probably how you open the door, but... Oh wait, there's this, there's this hole here. Interesting. I could plop down there if I wanted to. I'm just like casually talking while I'm walking through extremely hot lava. 
Uh, but I see that there's this torch over here. This is why I say that it probably won't do anything if I were to light that torch. Am I not close enough to the edge? Because this is definitely within my range here. There we go. I bet you I have to light the torch on the other side with Din's fire and then shoot a fire arrow through to the other side to unlock that gate. That is just my best guess. But let's first take a look around this room and see if there's anything of interest. Eh. No. Eh. Another- Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Um... Now, I believe I can, like, just jump right across there, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think I can, unless... Yeah! No, I can't. So never mind about that, I guess. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm doing a lot of ums and hums in this part, which is not a good sign, I have to say, when it comes to solving puzzles. <laughs> yeah! Ah, there we go. A successful jump this time. Hiccup time. Alright, let's let's see and hope that this torch will stay lit once I light it. Because I'm I betcha that I have no other choice but to fire arrows Oops, fire arrows through the thing and into the other torches. See so yeah, that one's lit now. And I can't hit that one at the bottom, can I? Yeah, I think it's at too steep of an angle. Unless I can, like... No, wait, that, that did work when I put it through the bottom of it. Let's try and get it from the side. Uh, there is a certain time limit that I have to go by here, I see. Come on, come on. Yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Dang it! <laughs> this is proving to be a lot trickier than expected. Mm. Come on, angle it right. Must hit torch. There we go. No, now the, now the top one's out lit. Curse you and your precise aiming. There we go. <laughs> now, what the heck did that do? What? Oh, there we go. It didn't show that it opened the, the gate over here. <laughs> I was getting a little bit worried there. Okay, now I got a key. I can use that to unlock the door back at the lobby, but do I want to go down there for first, or do I want to go back to the lobby? That is the question. I have a feeling I should do the lobby first, just because of the fact that what will happen is that if I drop down there, I won't be able to get back up here as easily as, you know, just walking back through here, so... Yeah, is this... Yeah, it's, it's completely blocking the whole area, so if I wanted to go up those stairs, I'd actually have to climb over the side. Oh! That was mean, and there's some staff holes for whatever reason. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna need the shield for you guys, unfortunately. <laughs> and I still don't have my Kokiri shield back, I mean I didn't go buy another one. And why is there boss music being played anyway? These guys are not bosses. They hardly qualify as a good enemy. <laughs> It, these are kind of like Lizaphos in a way. I mean, I guess they're only vulnerable at certain points, you know, like bosses tend to be. But at the same time, since you... Well, I guess that Keese is kind of annoying. <laughs> the Keese is more of a boss than these uh, Staffles ever were. <laughs> hey, how did you hit me? That was rude. That was just plain rude. And what? This is preposterous. Eh. Eh, there we go. Oh, come on now, man. You are not going to get the better of me. <laughs> uh, an easier way to take on the Staffles might be to, like, use Din's Fire or something like that. I think they're vulnerable to that. Eh. Mm, please do not backflip. Uh, I'm kind of low on the energy and... The yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. Finally. Now for the keys. You are going to die a horrible death for distracting me earlier. There we go! Oh, and I just got three hearts from that. That is going to be very useful. But I've got a fairy in my possession, so that won't be too big of a deal, I think. What does that mean there? That green uh, navy sign. I betcha it is Song of Storms. Wait, 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 wait. So, I mean, Sun Song, excuse me. Yeah, I, I was gonna... Oh, I was playing the right song anyway. 
Dang me and my bad memory to combinations of buttons. And yeah, it's just a fairy. Nothing else there, I suppose. So let's just go through here. Well, that fairy was pretty useful. Oh my god! No! No, 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 no! No, not the evil live tiles of death. No! Why must the floor tiles go after me? And I also see an extremely annoying enemy as well. So maybe I shouldn't destroy those pots right away here. Because he might give me some... This is an iron knuckle. And probably the best way to take care of them is bombs. I could probably use them on the staffos as well. See this? See this? Now this is a real boss. It has a lot of HP. It does a lot of damage, and you have to be very patient with it. But, you know what, I'm going to try a bomb method. That works. Well, this kind of works, but I'm using up a lot of bombs. Well, I guess not that many. Just look how much damage it's taking right here. No, I didn't mean to drop it. I wanted to walk and throw it at Mr. Super Armor there. <laughs> Holy poopers, you take a lot. Come on, just... Maybe I should be using my... No! Well, look at how much damage. I did four hearts of damage. I would like to... do jump slashes. See, he's got two different kinds of attacks. He's got that, and then a upward slash, like... I mean, a forward slash that's only, like, one. He's got, like, a double slash attack, and then that single slash attack. But when his armor goes off, he takes a lot more damage at one time and then he dies off pretty quickly and anyway there we go he is definitely a dangerous foe so be careful now as for this thingy here what what are you referring to here Navi oh he can also destroy certain pillars as well as that seat he was sitting on as well so that's another sort of thing that you're gonna have to uh, not not have to I mean that you could use to your advantage in later dungeons because there's certain like like pillars that he can destroy that it will have stuff that will also clear out the room nice and handy. Um, it's just another large fairy there, but no, that's it's not bombable. <laughs> and I don't, I don't think you can get through that. Hmm. And I just like completely ignored the fairy that I got there. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Hmm. Well, here's a normal fairy. Eh. What? Why are these so hard to pick up? I swear I'm touching them and... Ah, whatever. I'm only one heart down. I, d I don't see anything else in this room besides that iron knuckle. I just wanted to sort of thoroughly check everything before I came through here. And oh my goodness. I completely forgot how to defeat you. <laughs> um, Don't I have to like... No, that doesn't work. Okay, what... Is your weakness? I am kind of unsure. Maybe it is bombs. Like, why don't I just use Navi? Navi is good for certain things. Extreme, extinguish its flaming clothes first. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> how do I extinguish? I completely forgot how to defeat this enemy. I'm serious. Hmm. Um, well, let's let's try hitting it with a bomb first. Ow! First of all, he, he doesn't really... I mean, he's pretty easy to avoid if you were just stand in the center like that, or I should say next to that flaming pillar. Um, eh. Ow! <laughs> Maybe I should just, like, manually throw a bomb over there and see if that... Well, that did... Yeah, that worked! Okay, so you just gotta bomb it, which doesn't really make much sense considering that it is a fire enemy. Ah. Ah, 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 you're screwed now, you're screwed now, ah, 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 where are you going, where are you going, ah, ah, no, I, I figured it would have to be something destructive, I mean, so I, I figured it had something to do with the bombs, even though it didn't make much sense in the context of things, I mean, he's a fire boss, you would think that, you know, something that is, you know, lots of, Full of, full of fire, so to speak, wouldn't uh, be affected by bombs, but that is apparently the case. <laughs> and wait, wait, which side are you going around? Oh, there you are, there you are. Oh, now you're in trouble, man. 
Uh, I think after this boss I'm gonna end off the part because I'm doing a lot of uhs and maybe I should be looking up stuff to save myself some time. <laughs> you know, just so I don't like end up doing that the entire dungeon. And why... Okay, you're an actual boss that is actually causing some trouble. Even more so than the Iron Knuckle because you're like less vulnerable at most times than usual. Now he's blue for no apparent reason. I bet you that means he's a little tougher. Yeah, even though he's weak against the same thing. And why did Link climb up there? I don't know. Come on, go around and around. Yep. And yeah, uh, 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 come on already. Must kill little thing. Must show dominance over tiny creatures. Yeah, come on already. Jesus. <laughs> Well, at least now- oh, now it's green. Well, now that I know it's weakness, I can just like... Yeah, take it down right when it's vulnerable. Not when it's vulnerable, excuse me, right when it's standing still, per se, rather than trying to time a bomb blast to hit it as it's moving around that central pillar. Dang you! <laughs> I hate you so much, you're so tiny and squirmy and fast, and you're not vulnerable all that much, and... E. There we go. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, I think I am done with this part. Well, I'll see what's in the treasure chest first, and then I'll end off the part. And yeah, this time I would like to climb up on the thing and open the chest. Ooh, I bet you it's a dungeon map! I would definitely like a map in this place. Oh my god, I got the Megaton Hammer early! <laughs> Well, I shouldn't say early, it's dungeon item first, and that's like, wow. It's basically a ginormous, ultra-heavy, two-handed hammer of death. It is a wicked enemy, <laughs> enemy, a wicked item, and it does a lot of damage to enemies and things alike. Very handy to have, and it is the main thing in this dungeon. So, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I show you the many uses of this hammer. Doo -doo -doo.